All right, what is up, my friends? Welcome to episode 129 of Mod Monday, the show we play goblins every single Monday. Last week, we played Modern Goblins with Kiki, Jiki, uh, Fable, the Mirror Breaker. That was a lot of fun. Go check that out if you haven't seen it. Today, we're playing some Historic, and um, I'm borrowing a deck list here from MTG Goldfish. Uh, I changed like one or two cards. But for the most part, this is an MTG Goldfish deck, so props to them. Explosive Singularity Goblins. So Explosive Singularity is a pretty ridiculous mythic from Kamigawa Neon Dynasty. It is a 10, 10 mana sorcery that effectively has Convoke. Uh, there's additional cost to cast a spell. You may tap any number of untapped creatures you control. Cost one less to cast this way. However, unlike Convoke, you can't tap a red creature for a red mana. But if we tap eight creatures, this costs red, red. 10 damage is a lot of damage. And uh, how are we going to do that? We have a very, very tokeny goblin deck here. So, a bunch of token makers. Dragon Fodder. Goblin Instigator. Krenko's Command. Goblin Gathering. You see a pair of goblins. Hordling Outburst. So, step one, make a ton of goblin tokens. Step two, we can use our opponent to kill, uh, to you, uh, to, to, we can, we can, you, we can, we can. We use tokens to kill our opponent using various effects like Cavalcade of Calamity, Raid Bombardment, and Torbrand, Thane of Redfell, and Castle Ember. So pump them all up. Pump them all up. And then uh, the big finish, of course, is Explosive Singularity. So the board gets, gets gummed up, can't really attack anymore. Well, whoosh, to the face, that's 10, and that should do it. Uh, one spicy copy of Double Cast here. This will allow you to copy your next instance of Sorcery Spell. This could obviously copy the token makers, but for the big fat whammy, we can copy Explosive Singularity, which would be pretty nice. Uh, I would appreciate it if that happened. Um, Cyborg's got some cards in it. Uh, Fort Tybalt for life gainy stuff. And uh, probably Finding Control as well as make some Devil Tokens. Uh, Soul Guy Lantern. Three Destructive Tampering. I guess if you really want to falter effect, sure. Again, I this is the, the Goldfish list. I didn't change the Cyborg at all. Uh, I don't know. It just looks fun. I want to try it out. So... Let's go. If we chat is called, if we double cast a singularity for the win, that is it. The stream is over. Everyone can go home and revel in our glory. Let's go on Mod Monday here. Brought to you by Cool Stuff Inc. is proud to sponsor Jim Davis. We offer great deals on card games, tabletop RPGs, board games, and more. Get a free token featuring Jim Davis and take 5% off your next order if you use the code JIM5 at checkout. CoolStuffInc.com. Cool stuff in stock. All right, let's rock and roll here. A lot of exciting content the last few days. We had an awesome uh, charity stream for Trans Lifeline uh, last Friday. We did coverage uh, yesterday on the Stream League. Tomorrow's going to be a sponsored stream uh, for uh, Dark Nemesis, kind of like a Raid Shadow Legends type stream for me to make a make some money. Uh, please show up for that one. I uh, download a game. It's super easy to do for you. It makes money for me, which is awesome. Look for that tomorrow. And uh, we're also doing commentary on Saturday on my own account, which is cool too. But um, let's uh, let's go. We got a pretty bad hand record mulligan. What's up, Freestyle? The volume on the ad video is lower than the mic volume. Really? I can double check that. We can keep this. Uh, we're done with the double cast here. We want the cards that actually work. So, what's up, Soul? Uh, it's Dark Nemesis. It's like a MMO thing. As for Sentinel is surprisingly good against us. Uh, normally, not a very good card against Goblin decks. We're playing a bunch of spells, obviously. So, yeah, Char the uh, the fundraising stream is tomorrow. Fundraising, uh, the sponsor stream. I mean, Dragon Fodder. So now, do we want to like even give our opponent a card here? I guess we do, right? Just can't play our stuff. Give him a card, whatever. Next turn, we go. We can play off curve and start uh, start not giving them cards. But this card's so good. What is this? Some sort of like mono white colorless deck here. Bag of holding. All right, we're off the map. During the charity stream, we uh, we played a lot of really bad, stupid decks, and uh, we have tanked our uh, we tanked our rating. We were building. I was just building decks based on what chat wanted for the entire charity stream. So, yep, just like that. Ice. Thanks, freestyle. Appreciate it. Yes. Don't download the game until tomorrow. I'll, I'll have a link. I'll have everything else for tomorrow. All right. Horse travel needs to come back. Does it though? It <laughs> does it though. We'll attack. All right, and then we're gonna uh, we're gonna command and we're gonna pay the one. Uh, I would like you to just draw land next turn so we can keep play keep playing these without letting them draw cards. Wait, what? 
Oh, it like modifies the cost based on untapped creatures you control. It's a little a little presumptuous that I want to tap my creatures like that, but sure, whatever. Scry again, okay. A little presumptuous. Mind Stone, sure. I've seen decks like this before. It's like mono white, like it's like it's like, it's like, it's like, it's like the colorless ramp deck, just playing white for like portable hole and Epsilon and stuff. Oh, if it had Convoke, you could actually tap for red red also. So it could be free in theory. So this it always costs at least red red. because uh, it doesn't have Convoke. So Alright, so they uh Moldaren Estate and Access Tunnel. We draw Cavalcade of Calamity. I'm down with this. I get to cast it with no draw. So Cavalcade, whenever I attack with anything, I deal one, which is kind of cool. So beat a bing, bada boom. So pow, pow, pow. I can see them having a uh, having Forsaken Monument, Ugin, things like that. And the fun news is that um, so we're gonna stream this week. We're doing the uh, sponsor stream tomorrow. And then uh, I'm doing coverage on my account on Saturday. Then we're going to do the next Mog Monday. And then I'm going to tear it all down. After that Mog Monday, I'm going to tear apart my entire office. I'm going to redo everything. I'm going to put the, put the desk together, do my new overlays. I'm going to do everything. It's going to be freaking awesome. So look for that soon as well. Um, all right. So we just want to like, just like Jam Jam here. We, uh, we'll lose one creature to the Archaic. Oh, my God. Whenever opponent casts an Interstorm spell, they play to a two. If they don't, you may copy that spell. <laughs> Why are these cards so good against us? These are cards that would normally absolutely be absolute dog shit against uh, a goblin deck normally, uh, but against what we're playing today, that's actually really really good. So I can't even like play a spell anymore uh, because they'll just copy it and get their own goblins, which is terrible. I think I just jam. If we jam three times, we they take four, five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yeah, they're mostly just devs attack. I guess I could also, like, pair of goblins, plus 2, plus 0, if they don't block. So. Uridic Live returns. One step at a time. One step at a time. All right, let me get things in order. All right, so. Sure. <laughs> and so if I, if I charge them right now, uh, they would also get Judge. So they would copy the same mode that I choose, right? Judge, any judges in chat? Judge, I need a judge command or a judge thing. It's the same mode, right? That's what I thought. So if I charge them, these getting plus two plus zero don't matter. They'll still draw a card off Sentinel, but we'll get in for six and put them to two with a, with a, a cavalcade and two tokens, but we're, we're gonna do this. All right, so charge them, they draw a card. This will put them to two with uh, two tokens in blood. All right, so now their things are bigger, great. They draw a card. Wait, I was a plus five for, what was that? You saw that, right? It was plus five for a second, what was that? What was that all about? Arena, huh? What was that? Quality software, quality software. All right, well, they're dead on board. We have two goblins and cavalcade. Despite not being able to play most of our hand this game, What's up, Keith? UI bug? Yeah, it's little bugs, you know, no big deal. That's a good sign. That's a good sign, starting off with Mindstone. Radiant Fountain! I can't even be mad. I love Radiant Fountain. Myriad Construct? All right, well, another Cavalcade. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, it's Helix! Oh my God. Pew, 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 pew! That's great. That's great. Uh -huh. All right. So, um, better lucky than good. Better lucky than good. Play great, win anyway. Love it. Love it. All right. So, do I want these tamperings? Uh, I could shatter stuff. Do I want any removal at all? I don't know. I don't know. Um, Tybalt seems kind of cool, honestly. Tybalt bombardment. I imagine they're going to have, like, Wraths and stuff, right? I'm going to shave a double cast. I'm going to shave a Singularity also. Um, we, like, actually just can't cast the Archaic card in play. If they're going to be Wrathing me, it's going to be hard to cast anyway. So, bring in a couple, uh, couple Tibbers. And maybe we want some Tamperings, too. Shatter Falter. Eh, it's fun. Lava Coil? What do I want Lava Coil for? 
exiles the construct. I mean, it's a 3 3 for 4. Just attack around it, you know, right? Like, just keep our linear game plan going. Alright. Oh, uh, man. Sand's really, really bad against Esper Sentinel. Uh, I'm going to mulligan. It's also just like four three drops and two lands. I'm going to mulligan. mulligan. Alright, better. Keep this and ship. Uh, let's ship the Goblin Gathering. And, like, to have a little extra play against, uh, Esper Sentinel. Cool. Construct only makes the four, makes the one ones if, if, if it's targeted. If it's targeted, so. Hall of Oracles. A Guardian Idol. So, definitely a spot where Ugin would be pretty good against us. Play the Goblin. Now, we may play the Bombardment next turn. That's actually pretty sick, how Torbrin interacts with these things. Probably around four Torbrins, honestly. That seems really good in this deck. Oh my god, take it easy. Take it easy. We have technology. Chill out over there, right? Dragon fodder. Um, I'm gonna play Bombardment. Draw a landing of Cavalcade and Token Maker, so I'm just gonna do this attack. Just the most mana efficient thing to do. Wait, you mana type me? Oh please god, mana type me. I'll play I'll play the sound for you. I'll play the sound for you. No? Alright. Alright, so pew, 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 pew. Alright, you're up. Want to draw land? Archive. Alright, so they're just going to Ugin us next turn, probably. We draw the land. How much does Torbrand do here? So we get 3, 6, 9, 12 damage. If we feel like we're getting Ugin next turn, that might be the best way to just like push a bunch of damage. I think it's like, I don't know if we can beat Ugin. Um, let's see the bugbear, right? Glass Onion Resub, month number two, most important month. Thanks so much, appreciate it. You're great. You're great. So if you go like Cavalcade plus Fodder and they have Ugin, it's, just, it's a disaster. Let's get the most damage in. Let's get the most damage in. Delphi resub, thanks so much. So Torbran, each red source that would deal damage to the stuff. So three, 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 three. Three, three. You're up. So now they're at six. If they go land Ugin, they have to minus four, and I have a land for Bugbear. Okay, cool. So they minus four. We draw land, Bugbear kill Ugin. That was the plan. That was the plan all along. Land off the top, please. Crap. All right, well, now they were dead. Um, just gonna play, I'm gonna play Cavalcade in command, so they can't just Ugin for zero. Pretty bad, pretty bad. Uh, so that turn five Ugin, turn four Ugin? Pretty fast Ugin. Pretty fast Ugin. All right, next game. It's fine, whatever. I guess turn, turn five Ugin's good enough on the play. Turn five Ugin on the play, you know? Don't want any tamperings, maybe? This is like a shatter effect. It just seems so bad, like three mana shatter just seems awful. So, I'm just gonna, just gonna race him. Just gonna race him, just do it that way. Just do it that way. I'll play. Man. Ah, we're gonna keep. Our burst is pretty good. Our burst is pretty good. This hand goldfish is pretty fast, so. Play Mulligan six. The void. Castle and Earth. Alright. So we have outburst into outburst and a pair of goblins. That's probably a turn five kill. I didn't do the math, but Guardian Idol, no white. Alright, so no Esper Sentinels is great for us. Start outbursting. Put the force first four turns on impacting the board at all. Yeah, I know. I get it. So in archive here would have them up to seven mana next turn. That's not eight. That's not eight. I 
Explore the Vast Lands. Each player looks at the top five cards of your library. Maybe reveal a land card and or an instant or source card among them. Each player puts the cards of you in their hand. So I guess we both draw two. And each player gains three. This is sick. Uh, sure. <laughs> That's pretty cool. They didn't get an instant or sorcery. What a what a sketchy play. Uh, all right, sure. Let's play this. You're gonna outburst again. I mean, they can't wrath me, and they're they're just dead as dead as shit next turn. So. Space Jam. Deal six. So next turn is... What? It's 2, 4, 4, 8, 12. 24 damage next turn. Just a casual 24 damage next turn. Like a timely here would be pretty annoying, I guess. Or a myriad construct. You okay? You okay? You see a pair of goblins, my friend. What do you do? You smile, because it's Mog Monday. See a pair of goblins. Go ahead, block. See what happens. See what happens. See what happens. What do you do? You charge them. I'd like to befriend them personally, but whatever. Whatever. Boom. I said, boom. There we go. There we go. Alright. 1 0, Mog Monday. Gotta cast Explosive Singularity. We gotta do it. We gotta do it. Alright, on the drop. I don't like the, the lack of 1 drops in this deck, unfortunately. Um, I don't know what 1 drop you could play, but. Honestly, why is this deck playing freaking uh, the. the What's it called? The 1 drop, it gets bigger for each goblin you play? I forget what it's called. Like, it doesn't work with, with Cavalcade of Calamity, but it's just a great card. You know? It's strange. It's strange. Foundry Street Denizen, that's the one. That's the one. Alright, Shoreline Scout. Got a Conjure Tropical Island here. Makes out Unclaimed Territory, make Tropical Island. Cute. Like, no, uh... No one drops, you know, is, is definitely kind of tough. Definitely kind of tough. Any historic deck recommendations for historic noobs? Um, I mean, there's lots of good stuff out there. I don't know. What do you? What kind of decks do you like? All right, so we're gonna fodder. Foundry Street Denizen. Merfolk Trickster. Yeah, I, I imagine we're going to get crushed here, honestly. Like, they just make their creatures bigger than ours faster, and they can block better than we do. Like, they play a Lord here, like, what do we ever do, you know? Yeah, like... Alright, yeah, like... We, uh... Yeah, we're just, we're just like, already dead. Sure. I guess. Gotta, gotta bring some kill spells here. Gotta bring in some kill spells. Yeah. Torbrand's cool and all, but... Yeah, there's a double lord here. And first, first setters are going to be dead on board, basically. Uh, right. Right. And, uh... Yeah, like... I think we're just really dead. Play Gimli, and like, I don't think we can ever win, but sure. These cards are pretty bad against other creature decks. A Regery? Yeah, sure. Untap a land? Oh my god. What a what a good draw for them, too. Four lands, all spells, double Regery. Play a, th play a thing here, tap two things, and we're dead. Low cost interrupts and big finishers. Uh, might like the Nib Mizzet deck. Deck's pretty fun. So, Bolt, Bolt, Coil, Coil, Blast. 
We gotta cut all these terrible rape bombardments. I'll cut the cavalcades too, honestly. And just be like more of a cut the double cast. And just be a little more of a uh, block kill your stuff and then play singularity kind of deck. Oh, I say I got add cards. Uh, double cast is fine then. Maybe like one Tybalt. Sure. Sure. Just another Mog Monday. Alright, so on the play. No removal, but... Um... Do you keep this? Yeah, I was gonna keep, I guess. Sure, whatever. Sure. Need to draw, like, a land or two, but... Islands. Go. Okay. Logabo. Logabo instigator. What? <laughs> they're playing Merfolk Tribal and they're playing Augur Bulls? How do they have any instant sorceries in their deck? What? Somebody's playing a prank on me. All right, well, we didn't draw land. And uh, it is a 1-3, which kind of sucks. Uh, so, to find company. If they had a company at this, I would have conceded on the spot. If they're playing like four instant sorceries and then they hit the company on this, I would have conceded on the spot. Just snap conceded. Just snap conceded. I will, I will not play this game. You can't make me. I will not play this game. We draw uh, and another non-land. Uh, yeah, I mean, I guess. Where my singularity's at, huh? Shoreline scout. Untap land. Oh, God. Oh, God. All right. All right. Um, yeah, we're too... Uh, too mad I'm casting Gimli here. Shoreline Scout. Okay. Just going to dump the entire hand here using Rejury to untap their lands. That's a Lord. Okay. Yeah, we're really, really freaking dead. Um... <laughs> Okay, you win. I'm done. I, thank you for playing. Uh, all their things are five fives. All my things are one one. So we have two lands in play. All right. Uh, that wasn't very good. That wasn't very good. That's okay. That's okay. You gotta change things up here a little bit. Uh, again, it's not my deck. An MCG Goldfish deck. There are some glaring flaws. Ray Bombardment is one of the worst cards I've ever played in my entire life. Oh, that card's gone. And uh, Goblin Gathering is also pretty bad. We're gonna cut this. We're gonna add four of the uh, the Denizen. For Foundry Street Denizen. And then um, we've got, uh, let's see, four, 16, 22 lands. Actually, I want one of these. I think 23 might, might be better anyway. And um, yeah, it's a budget deck for sure. It's definitely a budget deck for sure. Is there any other. Uh, like one mana play that's like somewhat reasonable. Da -da 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 reasonable. Firebrand. Probably. Honestly, Dragon Rage Channel is not like the worst of this deck, right? We're just playing a lot of spells. We only have sorceries though. Sorcery creature land. Yeah. Uh, looting. Lava Mancer. I do love Lava Mancer. I do love Lava Mancer. <laughs> Uh, the Isle Goblin that gives haste isn't very good because there aren't any goblins in our hand. All of our cards are spells, not creatures. Scorch Spitter. That's a classic one. It's a classic one. Honestly, it plays well with, uh, with the old Gimli. I kind of have the fourth Gimli, too, honestly. This card's just, like, really, really good in this deck. Maybe just play the fourth Gimli instead. Like, Scorch Spitter is pretty freaking bad, you know? Uh, no Chain Whirler. Uh, yeah, it's kind of a budget deck, you know, so it's fine. Souls. 
I mean, Soul Scar Mage isn't bad either, honestly. Just like prowsing every turn. So add the fourth Gimli. We cut the Raven Bombardment, so we're a little light on payoffs now. So I'm just gonna change it up a little bit like this. So we're just gonna put in four denizens and uh, and we're gonna add a fourth Thor brand. Just cut those terrible, terrible three drops. Um, is there a payoff? I mean, specifically goblins? No. Just Mog Monday, you know? Just Mog Monday. So uh, let's try this. Clean it up a little bit. Clean it up a little bit. We can make it work. Rizona Asari Commander. If that's a Samurai card, the card's terrible. Take, 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 take Behold. Behold Unspeakable or Circuit Mender, if you want to stay open. But Behold's really good. I think Behold's insane. insane. Behold's playing Lurus. There we go. How much better does this look right now, right? Huh? How much better does this look? Right? Come on. Keep this. Let's go. Make a little noise here. Let's go. The problem with Dragon Rage Channel is we only have sorceries. I guess we have some enchantments too, but we mostly just have sorceries, lands, and creatures. So, Forbidden Friendship? Um, that might be better than than Goblin. So, yeah, that's fair. But it's Mark Monday, for God's sakes. You're right, Arthur. You're right. Go ahead. Fire away with your Inquisitions, all right? Yeah, I suppose that Forbidden Friendship is just better than uh, Instigator is, right? In like every way. But take the Cavalcade of Calamity. Um, I'm going to play Second Denizen. I'm going for a big attack next turn. Otherwise, if they, have, if they play the 1-3, we can't attack into it anymore. But this time we can. So Does Forbidden, does forbidden Friendship make two red tokens? I think there's an again. Jeez. What does Friendship make? All right. Well, it's kind of annoying, but sure. All right. Well, we got the old Gimli. Double discard here. Green, black. Oh, Denzin first. I was talking chat. Right, I was talking chat. It's my bad. It's my bad. It's my bad. Scavenging ooze? Sure. Yeah, so it's red and white, right? That's what I thought. All right, so play this. Play the old Gimli. Gimli, son of Gloin. Pump these. Now these are both four power. And we have Singularity in hand. Well, we got a ways to go on that one, though. They have a Scavenging Ooze. Only one creature in the bin. They go to nine. Sort of rock deck. Sort of rock deck. Alright, this is sketch. This is very sketch. Four mana up. Um, I imagine the Gimli's going to die here. So the question is, like, if they kill this and eat it, they get to block safely on a Denizen. That's pretty bad for us. Hmm. Maybe we just, like, don't attack? Is that crazy? They just, like, obviously have a kill spell here, right? YOLO? YOLO has been called in chat. Sure. Alright, fine. YOLO has been called in chat. What are you going to do? It's Mog Monday, YOLO. Oh, look, they had their rule spell. Who would have thought? Alright, so uh, get, us, get, up, get a mountain. Now I have mana for Bugbear next turn. So they eat block, take three. That's chat's fault. That one's all chat's fault. Alright. Oh my god. <laughs> Even Karn's upset. Why is Karn in here? <laughs> Why'd you want Karn here? He wouldn't come out. Karn, Karn. Karn, Karn. Karn. He's not listening. Hey! He doesn't want to come out. He wants to stay in for my Monday. Too bad. He doesn't want me. Too bad. Another ooze? Yeah, sure. Um, yeah, we probably should have waited, obviously. We could chat got me excited. I just fired in, you know? I got fired in. Um, it's a sorcery, too. Yeah, we're in trouble. We're in trouble. Yeah, eat the. Yeah, we're just, we're just pretty screwed here. We're pretty screwed. 
A lot of interaction. A lot of interaction. Castle Lock, Thwain. Lure us to hand. Draw Krenko's command. All right. I mean, the problem is they've gained some life off these scavenging oozes because this uh, the singularity isn't quite there. It isn't quite there. You gonna kill more of my stuff, you jerk? No. All right, cool. Holding outburst makes three one-one goblins for three. Why are we playing two one-one goblins for two? Because we can't play more than four hordling outbursts, right? Like. Luris. Luris. Okay. I mean, Gimli, son of Gloin. We, uh, huh. They have two cards in hand. So obviously we have 10 ball upstairs, but like that doesn't really do anything because there are 13. So we probably just have to play Gimli here and just say go. Uh, the problem is if they have other stuff, we're just, like, in pretty big trouble. Gimli attack isn't really good enough. Should I play Gimli and go? We cut the Hordling Uppers? We most certainly did not. We cut the terrible Raid Bombardments. Alright, no attacks. Say go. If we put them to, th to, to three, we just, like, aren't actually... Winning the game. It's attack, gain three. It dies. Gain another one. Maelstrom Pulse. Thoughts. Oh, my God. Come on. Well, I mean, either way, they would have been at three, gone to attack, then gone to six, and then just thought sees my thing anyway. So, either way, uh, either way. Oh, and they pulse tokens. Mm. Pulse being real rude here on Mob Monday. Castle Emberth. Uh, all right. Two, four, six, eight. Yeah, we're pretty dead, but sure. Pretty dead. A lot of life gain, you know. A lot of life gain. All right, try one again. Try one again. Uh, we're going to put in the old Tibbers. And I don't think I really want any removal, honestly. Bring in the Tibbers. I only got four of them. Take a double cast. Take maybe like two instigators. Let's try this. I don't want any removal spells. Like, scavenging use is kind of whatever. We are actually don't have that many creatures in our deck either. So. Yikes. Yikes. Yikes! My Monday. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? What do the five fingers say to the face? Slap! <laughs> Thanks for following uh, X. You can follow the stream with that follow button, of course, on YouTube. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Mog Monday. Show with the goblins every Monday. Too soon, too soon apparently, too soon. All right, here we go. Here we go. I'll apply. Uh, that's pretty good. It's a pretty good hand. Fodder into Tybalt into Torbrand. What do you want? Hey, Tuts. It sounds on the soundboard. What? Why? You're gonna lose it again. I, it's, I found it. I, 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 I like named it properly. What do you want, Smelly Dog? Any idea when the Mythic packs be available on Arena? Hopefully never. Hopefully never. Deflecting bomb. Can I help you, dog? Huh? He just wanted to give you kisses. Yeah. Well, I don't like that. Cause you lick your own butthole. Yes, he does. I watched him. Oh, this card's so good against us. Did anybody, did, did anybody notice 
that Carmen went to the beauty parlor yesterday and he has a brand new bow tie for Easter. See, look, show them all your bow ties. We really can't beat this girl. This girl is way too good. You should be he has a cute little Easter bow tie. Aww. Bow tie for Karn. Alright, so you're up. This thing gains life and draws cards when they kill things. That was my ear card you just yawned in. That was my ear. Ow, Jesus, dude. Ow. What is he doing? He's scratching the shit out of me. Get him off me. I don't know what he's doing. He's scratching the shit out of me. Jesus. Oh, here you go. All right? You want to be on TV? You be on TV now. I'm pretty sure that's what he wanted. All right. What'd they do? They pulsed my Tibble. Sweet. And what has the counter on it? Okay, this can counter bounty counter permanent. Uh, Planeswalker. Creature or Planeswalker. Oh, wow. Wow. He just had his nails clipped. Let's play Gimli here, right? Just ship it. Gimli? Son of Gloin? Yeah, Karn. That's right. Alright, let's take a bunch. And they target the, the Gimli. Pete is a walks. Razor sharp raptor claws here. Yeah, they were able to file the back ones, but could you not let them file the front. Good claws. thing you couldn't open the. Good thing you, could, you can't open doors. Because you're dumb, right? Can't open door. What's a door? Oh, that's confusing. Oh, that's confusing. You see a pair of goblins. Um. I mean, they're just gonna kill us in combat, obviously, so we're not going to attack. We'll just play Tybalt and say go. I guess we can, like, attack when they block a pair of goblins, plus two, plus so. Sure, I'll just do that. Whatever. Let him kill the Torbrin. Right. Wow, that's cool. We get some mana out of this, too. That's sick. Alright, cool. So, trophy. Get a land. Trophy's so bad. And then they block. Game three, which sucks. Karn's got to go for a dub dub. Files that you're, you're 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 heavy man. No blocks. Um, do we just take the damage here? I want to go wide. This is interesting. I'm just gonna hit a tibble, I guess. Give me tibbers. Give me the old tibbers here. Come on, buddy. Play this. Play that. Play this. Let's go. Let's go. He's a stupid dog. He's a dog. He's in dance. He wiggles around. You're on television. Tell a joke. <laughs> Good joke, Karn. Good joke. What? What? No! Well, this opponent is very mean. I don't like this opponent at all. They're they're a real jerk. All right, get out of here, Karn. What a jerk! What a jerk! Put Luris to hand. Four mana left over. We're never gonna cast this card, are we? We're never gonna cast this card, are we? Five mana. Elder Gargaroth. Luris plus. <laughs> They like tap wrong? They must have added the mana wrong, right? That's good. Alright, lucky us, they kinda of screwed up. Uh this. So you go. We're so far from casting this card. Uh yeah. Ah Remember we used to have animations? Animations are sweet. Animations are sweet. Alright, so uh we do have 20 damage in hand, in, in theory. Uh, in theory. Alright, let's befriend some goblins. Still can't cast it. Uh-huh. So they go. Ten's a lot. Ten, ten's a lot. Painful bond? Sure. I can't down take dibs. I think Vaughn's pretty good. If Tibble was minus one, it'd be insane. <sighs> if 
problem is they just have like multiple life gain sources in their in their in the, in play. So like they have even if we tend them, I guess if we like tend them. I'm sorry, that can't life at least. That's good. That's good. Should have eight cards in hand. Navis cost six. I mean eight, sorry. Alright, that was probably the best possible draw. Until until, until they Maelstrom bolts us. Uh now it costs five. Say so go. Maybe? Maybe? Painful bond. Alright. Man. Has burn down the house been considered? Five mana's a lot. Five mana's a lot, you know? Get target the D&D &D goblin. Get a thought seat. <laughs> Hold on! They're, they're going from 12 to 10 here. They're going from 12 to 10. Folks, is there a chance? Is there a chance? Can't gain life. Um, I think I block because they could have a way to gain life post Tibble. We have to keep this, so I'm gonna block and kill the Lurus. We still have plenty of mana to cast our Singularity. I guess not plenty, but if they kill Tibble, they can kill something in game three. So let's keep it able to play. Sonic, resub, thanks so much. Fatal push. Alright, now you draw land. Now you draw land, folks. When they've killed Tibble before attacking? Well, if they, the Tibble dies to the Lurus, then they can gain life, so. Come on! Gimli, son of Gloin, go do something. I guess I attack. I think if I attack, they might just block and trade. Um, I'm not going to attack. Alright, your turn. She also a pretty cool card. It's a pretty cool card. They still have six cards in their hand. <laughs> uh oh. All right. So good news, bad news. Uh, we get a land for casting singularity, but they just gain three off the Chevelle, and they can gain life again. Leave my stuff alone. Come on. What are we, uh, that's probably a good draw, right? All right, that's probably a good draw. The thing is, now they're at 13, I'm pretty sure we just, like, can't finish them off. All right, poor Goblin's been, uh, targeted with a bounty here. Of course, the problem is you have to tap your goblins to uh, cast this. So even if we put them down to three, we can't attack also and kill them. So, oh my god. Shigeki. Maelstrom Pulse. Hello, 
Never gonna cast this card, are we? Maybe we can hard cast it. I just wanna hard cast it for the lols. Why do they get a trophy back? Over like, I don't know, anything else? Poets think it's cool. Abandoned Meyer Shigeki. Wow, three Shigekis. Holy crap, that's a lot of Shigekis. Alright, uh, we're dead, folks. We can go to the next match. <laughs> they got us. Chevelle Bane of uh Bane of Mog Monday, apparently. Bane of Mog Monday. Ten mana. Alright, we got this. It's okay. On the fly. Oh my god. Alright, Mulligan. Sure. Keep ship, uh, yeah, one of these, I guess. All right, we're trying, we're trying our best over here. Let the cast at least one singularity before this, uh, before this is over. We got a triome, okay. All right, that's uh, some lands. And step pair of goblins. You're like, this is a Nimbusid deck, probably. With like Deafening Clarion and shit. God damn it. Pathway. Befriend them. Befriend them. Alright, and uh, ship it. Let's go. Let's go, Gimli. Befriending goblins here on Mog Monday. It's what we do. It's what we do. Torbrand's not a goblin. He's a friend of goblins. He's a friend of goblins. Is this lethal? Ho! See a pair of goblins. MVP. All right. Uh, Tybalt for days. Cut the double cast. Cut like... I'm going to cut a singularity or two. Wait, I'm just cutting two singularities. We're just never going to cast them ever. Like... Once your opponent's actually killing your stuff, it's so hard to cast this card. It's unbelievable. <laughs> like, just unbelievable. <laughs> yeah, I'll even two for the lols, but, but, uh, yeah, but, uh, yeah. Y'all, great today. Thanks for hanging out. Great, great, great out today for Mob Monday here. Again, the show will play Goblins every Monday. First thing, read that follow button on YouTube. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Long stream tomorrow. Long sponsored stream. Uh, we gotta make that money. All right, we got bathrooms to do. We got a lot of things coming up, some announcements to make, and uh, a lot going on. Tomorrow's gonna be a sponsor stream. Um, we're playing a mobile game. You download it. You, you make me some money. It's simple as that. All right, a lot of matches tomorrow, and then we'll play playing sponsor game as well. All right, let's get a W here, please. Let's get a W. Hello. Come on! Come on now. Tomorrow's uh, sponsor content, the uh, the sign up limit for money, me maybe making money is really high. So for Raid Shadow Legends, it was like 120, and then every sign up past 120, I didn't get an extra money. This one's 540. Uh, so I can make like three plus grand tomorrow if we get the maximum amount of signups, which would be insane. So I got a mulligan. Gonna keep ship of land. Let it ride, and uh, we can use the cash. So all right, here we go. Castle Emberth, and just start casting them. A Gooblin. A Portable Ult. That's a good exchange. We like that exchange. It's a good exchange. Very aggressive Portable Ult. Like, right? Very aggressive Portable Ult. Uh, the game, the game's still... Uh, you'll, see, you'll, see, you'll see the game tomorrow. It's Dark Nemesis. Don't download it yet, because I won't get anything for it. You gotta use the link tomorrow, so... Alright. Um... I think uh, I'm just gonna play instigator. Hold up, pair of goblins. Bring back the instigator. 
This is like a instant or a pump. You know, it's like kind of, kind of awkward, but Bajugabog. Wow, some ambitious uh, Bajugabog. I mean, if they had the sleeper, there's, there's, there's no way they don't cast it there. I might just jam. I might just full-on jam. Yeah, I'll just jam. I'll just go for it. I'll just go for it. They had Clara and they cast it last turn. There's no way they don't. And this is a pretty desperate portable hole, so... Just get him next turn. Just get him next turn. On to Sky Ruins. Ship it. Attack. Pump it. Charge! Now it's trusting you, Larry. Uh... Okay. Sure, I guess. I didn't see that one coming. Uh... Could have castled, I suppose, but... Alright, uh, how about again? Do it again! Now what? That's what I'm talking about! <sighs> there we go! Let's go. Let's go. Let's cast a damn singularity, please. Can we do that? Can we do that? I think we can. So... I'm gonna keep. We've got like all the cool lands and stuff. Uh oh. Looting. Sure. On burial rights, land. We draw another land. Alright, that's not good. That's not good. Let's take up. We also have this uh, Crucible of Defiance, which is like, you know, isn't the worst. Strike it rich. Uh, Cavalcade of Calamity. All right, I guess. Sure, it's a thing. It's a thing. This produces the spirits of goblins long dead. Absolutely. Absolutely. I agree. I agree strongly. They're not red, unfortunately, for uh, Blood Sun. This turns off my poor bugbear. My poor castle. Lotus Field. Strike it, Rich. What is going on? We're off the map here, folks. All right, uh, I'm gonna hold this, I guess. All right, it's just uh, just jam. So in for three. They're at fifteen. They have three, four, five, six, seven potential mana this turn. <laughs> Come on! Just leave me alone. Looting forest. Choose better words, Darth. Choose better words. We have better ways to describe things. Triome? What is happening? Forest Lotus Field Triome? Alright. Uh, Crucible. Attack. Not bad. Not bad. We have double cast. We're still pretty damn far from casting Singularity, so just Lotus Field on top. Oh, okay. Oh, I see how it is. I see how it is. Uh, as you gain three life also. All right. Uh, I guess you win, friend. I guess you win. Uh, uh yeah, it's a nine ball. All right, let's get vigilance too. Jeez. Pretty sure we can't win, but uh, it says damage too, right? Damage target creature. So, uh... Right. What is going on here? It's like a random on Barrow Rides and a random Faithless Looting and a random Strike It Rich. Gonna shoot down my poor goblins. Primal Calamity. Calamity Ganon over here. Alright. Just just out here murdering goblins today. Just out here murdering. Alright, yeah, no blocks. Down to two. Down to two. Yeah, alright. I guess uh, Primal Calamity with like 9 mana and play will do it. 
All I think about Breath of the Wild, Zoltar, that's all I want to do is play Breath of the Wild, Nicole. We just have so little time to play. We played for a bit on Saturday. Uh, it was a lot of fun, but probably won't get to play until the weekend again. So, All right, I don't even know what to do here. Um, I'm going to be totally honest. We're just going to submit. Like, maybe Tibble, but like, they should have a pile of random cards. So I'm not even going to sideboard. We're just going to win. We're just going to win. Breath of the Wild is the worst Zelda game since ever. Well, that's just like your opinion, man. Three Lava Coils could kill Zakuma. I mean, that's true, I guess. That, that is true. That is true. I cast a single singularity yet. Not even one. Not even one. On the play. Come on. All right, Mulligan. Keep. Keep. Keep, 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 keep. All right, let's go. Let's go. Can we hope we get Sparky next? All right, if we lose this game, we'll play a game at Sparky, right? If we lose this game and don't cast a Singularity, we'll play against Sparky. We'll play against Sparky. We got to cast one Singularity before his day before his day is over, right? Trium, Faith asleep. <laughs> Discard Coma on Burial Rites. Ah, crap. That's pretty good. Singularity. All right. Uh, we're just going to cast this. We could, like, try and get greedy and try and double cast it. That's just, like, not even that good, so. Attack for five. Untap. Land, Deafening, Clarion. Looting again? Okay. Double casting similarity is not an easy thing to do. Uh, in case you haven't realized it yet, 10 mana is a freaking lot. Uh, it's a lot. We draw land. All right. We can't even cast it yet. Can't even cast it yet. Mana bird. Reset up. Thanks so much. All right. We're getting deaf and clarion so hard. We're getting deaf and clarion so, so hard here. All right, they're gonna barrel rights the the lore hold. All right, go nuts! Attack, top seven cards, cast one for free because five or less. They whiffed. We draw Krenko's command. Um, this works. Copy this. Now they have to block the denizen. They can just unbarrel rights it again, I guess, but. So they got a block here, they're dead. And then we untap and singularity them. Oh god, folks, here it is. Here it is. Play Mox's food chain. Um, I don't think I played that, no. On barrel rights, lore hold. Don't hit deafening clarion. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. No! Booker, first time chatter. Here to feel the pain. Here to feel the pain. Cast Strike It Rich off Lorehold. Yeah, sure. Escape the Wild. I didn't know this card was legal and historic. This card is awesome. I want to play this card. I got to build a Douglas card in it. Shifting Ceratops? What the hell is their deck? <laughs> it's just a pile of cards. It's awesome. All right, fine. Fine. This is outrageous. It's unfair. All right. Singularity time. Singularity time. Come on. Why does the lock appear over the mastery pass level? I I don't know. Let's go. Come on now. We can mulligan every game too. All right, uh, Mulligan, Pope Mulligan also. Keep. Hands great. Hands great. Keep. 
Ship it. Esper Sentinel. All right, all right. I see how it is. A uh, singularity. All right. I um, I would trade here. I think. Ingenious Smith. Mr. Anderson. Portable hole. Ornithopter. Pump. Snap block. Ah, oh, come on. I would have loved that block there. Alright. Um. I we have triple out. The problem is that, like, we triple outburst. We finally pull off casting singularity, and they just go to 10. It's actually win the game or anything, you know? Like. Alright, portable hole. Sure. What's up, White? Uh, we've not cast it yet. No, we've not cast it yet. I don't think give him a card. I was gonna give him a card. Metal cyst. That's pretty big. No blocks. This has shifted from uh, playing magic to try and win to just playing magic to try and cast explosive singularity. We can cast it next turn, folks. We can cast it next turn. Imagine if we draw twin cast. I don't really cast it. Another nettle cyst? Jesus. We have to block one, though, unless they put another. They put both of those to each die anyway. Uh, that's eight. We can go command singularity next turn, and then we just we still just die. But so if I, if I have to block here, I can never cast it. Whatever, sure. Go to two. Go to two. This is how we win. This is how we win, folks. Six, seven, eight. Pay the one. They're not gonna draw a card. So we're gonna pay. And here it is. This is how we win. This is how we win. No animation. There's no way. Wait, what? I can't just. Can't auto cast it. Upstairs. No animation, of course, because we don't have animations anymore on Arena. We're we're uh we're second rate citizens out here on Arena. No no animations at all. No animations at all. Uh, all right. We cast it. We did it. We did it. Um. Destructive tampering. Tibbles. I'm running it back. We're just running it back. We cast it. That's all that matters. All that matters is we cast it. Is Star Extension the coolest animation in Arena? It's pretty sweet. Uh, the big hand from Eldraine is pretty cool, too. Small indie company. Yeah, I know. Oh, there you go. Charlotte's Rhino got it. The monetization. You can pay $50 for five animations. There you go. That makes sense, right? Listen, if all the cards are free and the animations cost money... I would take that in a heartbeat. I would take that in a heartbeat. Keep. Denizen, go. I like the calm animation a lot, too. It's like the snake that swirls on the screen. It's pretty sweet. As for Sentinel, sure. Whatever. Just freaking draw your cards. Whatever. OP announcement is uh, on Thursday. And uh, it's going to be pretty good. It's gonna be pretty good. I have a little inside info, and it's gonna be it's gonna be pretty good. S Sentinel, draw some cards. S oh my god. <laughs> I played the wrong land anyway. Oh, I don't play anymore. I'm done. I'm done. This is like the worst thing I've ever played in my entire life. Oh my god. Alright. No blocks. Castle. Draw a thousand cards. Bump, 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 attack. Alright, we killed the Sentinel. That's a start. That's a start. <laughs> Somebody's playing a prank on me.
<laughs> oh man. All right, no blocks. What? Uh, dragon fodder. All right. We uh, we uh, we can attack like pump fodder. Open house was on Thursday. Oh, they're blocking. They're blocking all day. I think this is fine, actually. I'm going to make two goblins. Although I want to just like, let this happen. Maybe I'll just like let this happen and pay for this. Yeah, I think it's fine, actually. I think a castle also, but... It lowers their artifact count, too, honestly. So there you go. Only have six cards in hand. Mr. Anderson. Ornithopter. Powerful. Ornithopter. Pump it. Portable hull. Come on now. Nettle cyst. Alright. We, uh... If we draw a singularity, we could, like, possibly cast it again. I wouldn't mind casting one more singularity for, uh... For shits and giggles. So there you go. Save the ship shadows. Alright, whatever. Fine. Alright, alright. So, yeah. This is basically a budget deck. Uh, this deck is, you know, it's, it's really cheap. Uh, but it's really freaking bad. <laughs> Explosive Singularity is, like, one of the worst cards I've ever seen. Um, like, if you have enough readers to cast it, like, if you already have eight readers in play, and you're not already winning, like, what are you doing, you know? Like, and the fact that it has the, the failsafe, you can't convoke it. So, like, it's not like you can, like, put infinite creatures in play and use it to deal ten. Like, oh, man, ten for ten, yeah. So, don't, don't, if you value your, uh, your, if you value your, uh, your win loss record in any way at all. Don't play this deck. If you want to dick around and have some fun though, it's pretty cheap. Pretty cheap fun deck to mess around with. Uh -huh. so Mod Monday episode 29 in the books. I promise you we're gonna win win more matches on Mod Monday episode 130. Alright, I promise you, I promise you. YouTube folks love you like, comment, subscribe. Oh boy! Oh boy.